Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. I hope you're having a splendid day. I am Mars and the time is 3 minutes to 10 in the night. I am home alone and that means modding time. This is uh, something uh, that I have been holding off because, I don't know, I think it uh, will require uh, some work to get it in place. But however, I think it will do a really big change to the front of the car and that is actually to replace both the upper and the lower grill. Which grill it will be? That will be a surprise once we install it then. I just want to get started with removing the front of the car. So what we have to do is remove this radiator cover. And beneath this cover there are uh, X amount of bolts. I can't remember it on top of my head now. And then we will have to remove some uh, clips from the wheel well. And also behind uh, the splash shield here. Uh, there are two bolts which we need to remove uh, I think it goes this way so and there's a pin holding this in place so we need to remove those bolts on both sides and also then there are I don't know 200 bolts which we need to remove from the front splitter from the belly pan so we then can remove the whole front of the car so that is what I will be doing today and tomorrow I will continue with the install of removing uh, the grills etc and to have everything in place and hook it up. Uh, it's too late now to do everything in one go, I don't want to break anything and so on. So I will just start with removing the front bumper of the car. So let's get on with that. millimeter bolts to remove and I believe these are five and a half millimeters on both sides that needs to be removed as well with all of the bolts removed the last step is then to I don't know if you can see this somehow is to remove this bracket here and the same on the other side that is holding up the bumper here once that has been done we'll have to lift the bumper up slightly to remove it from these pins as you can see once that is done we need to unplug some wires on both sides and then the whole bumper is loose all right i have disconnected the connectors to the fog lights from beneath here so when the belly pan is out you can easily access that so let's see if we can take it off
so that was that all right ladies and gentlemen it is early next day it's quarter past seven and yesterday we then managed to remove the whole bumper today we will then remove the grills and then also we need to do some uh, modifications to this area i don't have the shutter system because i have the performance pack one but i believe we need to remove these clips and then potentially we need to black out this part with some blackout film that has been provided by Cervini's. Oops, did I say which grill we are installing? So <laughs> we will be installing Cervini's grills upper and lower and this is for the smart and safety package. And this part is the smart and safety package for some of the parts at least in that package and in the early revisions of the Serenis grills it didn't support cars equipped with the smart and safety package but all export models at least to Europe have this as standard so what we'll do now is we will clean up uh, this area here before we can apply that film and then I believe we need to install some brackets uh, there and on the other side and then we will start removing the grills now I have cleaned this upper portion and also wiped it down with alcohol to get it as clean as possible but we don't have to overdo it I have done this part as well because on top of here there will be a black vinyl going to black this part out so it doesn't shine through and we need to remove these fasteners and we'll, and they will be replaced with zip ties which will be holding this closer or more I don't know if it's going to be lower so you don't see this actual harness as well so we'll start off by doing that fasteners have now been removed next then is to apply the vinyl or vinyl sorry so we need to just cut here and here this longer portion then will go on top here and these two smaller pieces will be going here and here I believe also in order to give us some time to work I have done a mix of just soap and water as you would do applying decals or uh, tint or anything like that now the black vinyl has been installed I use the heat gun just to get it in place somewhat I don't think it's that important that it is 100% perfect because you will notice this, this is just to black out certain areas next then is to reattach this harness with the zip ties and then we are finished and set to go to install the new grids next step is then to remove this eight mile an hour impact bar it's just a piece of plastic so we have some tabs here one here one here one here one there and one above once that's removed we can start removing the front grill or upper grill first now we have the eight mile an hour impact bar off next then is to remove the front bumper and there is a bunch of tabs that needs to be loosened i've got one off now and i'll start going one by one by one and then hopefully everything will come out good without breaking anything finally both grills are out it was hard as hell it took almost an hour to get them off however I believe these are radar sensors and as you can see these have fasteners that were going into these holders or these clips or whatever we want to call them however the new grill doesn't have them and this is supposedly 
to be for cars equipped with the smart and safety package all right now we have the upper grill installed so it is inserted in this direction and then there's a bunch of these fasteners that are to be installed all the way around however I don't know if this comes through now let me see if I can if you look at the fitment in this corner not that good on the other side it's a bit better and also as you can see there is some light coming through meaning the fit is not 100% but from the front of the car you cannot see the finish in the same way as you do from the behind so I think we are good to go however here you can see through maybe on this side not as much well well we'll continue with the lower grill now now we have all the mesh installed it's a very very fine mesh so from certain angles in the video at least you can barely see it it was a bit fiddly because you have to get all the uh, holes to align with the holes in the mesh in order to secure this in place however that has been done now and we are finished with that part now we have to clean this part here because the eight mile an hour impact bar is going to be held in place on this piece with double-sided tape previously it was secured onto the bumper itself but now it will be sitting here so that is the next step and after that is done we can lift the bumper into place actually not I have a one more thing I need to install that will improve the appearance a bit so now I have installed double-sided tape on the 8 mile hour bumper and crash bar and now that will be installed onto that piece and this is site specific on this side I had an electric clip or a wire fastened to this clip here so we need to have it on the correct side all right the crash bar is in place before we start mounting the front bumper i have a surprise and that is a yellow howler badge from mf auto designs i think it's going to do really well with the blue and also it will represent somewhat the swedish flag as well so let's install this bad boy all right i'll think i'll continue tomorrow mother the one of the bolts is somewhere here god damn it the hardware was never to be found so i have purchased some new stuff and we bolt the bracket on and then we go on with the final steps before we mount everything up there you go the badge is in place and it looks awesome it was a little bit fiddly to get it in because the holes doesn't really match the hardware or bolts on the back side of the actual badge but we got it in place and uh, I'll see if I'll move it down a bit I'm not sure maybe I'll just leave it where it is but it 
white looks good with the blue. One thing more before we actually mount the bumper is I think I will go over this with some light light layer of black paint in order not to make it shine through as much through the grill or through the grills. So I'll just use some regular body paint and go over it slightly slightly nothing major so that's the next step then before you start spraying anything I would strongly recommend to cover up those areas where you don't want to have any overspray potentially I haven't covered everything up because it's already black in there but also I try to be as careful as possible when doing the actual painting then but remember light layers only one or two we just want to make it a bit more dark so it doesn't shine through as much as it would have done now so let's get on with the paint job now I have lifted the bumper into place so I just have hand screwed these bolts back in we will start off with tightening the bolts on the bracket here on the sides from this triangle portion here I found that to be easier also when I installed this I taped here just in case so we don't scratch anything the same on the other side what also is needed to do once the bumper is installed is to install the support brackets which I will show you later it is to support this area here I would assume uh, there are some small gaps in between the bumper and the grill in order to hinder these to separate these brackets are needed and that is the last step we will do now the last piece when it comes to at least the bumper is to install these support brackets and what I have done is I have removed one last splash shield or splash guard uh, that one was fixtured here with uh, some push pins and one on the other side and also there was one alignment pin going in there so with that removed what we have to do is remove this bolt and that bolt and replace it with the provided nut and what will happen now is this bracket here it will go in like so once that is in place we will attach this bigger bracket to that arm we just installed the L bracket is secured into place with this bolt which is supplied so you remove the OEM bolt and install this L bracket and then you attach this V-shaped bracket to that L bracket and then also secure it to the bumper in the front with the OEM uh, bumper bolts. So that's what we're going to do now. Now I have installed the first brace. So we got the L brace and this bigger brace here. And how it works is that it bolts into place with uh, the OEM uh, hardware, we, hardware which was used for the bumper. However, it also states, let me see here. Install the lower brace using the factory bolt to the radiator support. I would assume this is the radiator support, but there are no OEM bolts on either side. And there is nothing supplied either to mount these, and as you can see, it would have never fitted in here. So honestly, I'm not sure uh, how this will work. I'll have to drop an email to Cervini's to see what they mean. So potentially if you get into the same type of ordeal, hopefully my video will have an answer or I will try to update the description in the video. 
let's get on with the other side and then uh, we'll start mounting everything else that needs to be in place this splash guard had to be taken off before the brackets were installed and it was connecting to here via a push pin and then also it was secured here it is now impossible to install this with the bracket here and it doesn't say anything about it in the instructions on what to do or that this cannot go in back into place or anything as such honestly I don't know what to say and also this bracket it's impossible to get the L bracket straight so when you tighten these this side pulls down but maybe it doesn't hurt that much same on this side as well so uh, yeah I don't know well we'll continue with the install and see and uh, I'll have to leave this splash guard aside for now and then uh, we'll continue with the rest <laughs> up and also I have been in contact with Servini's regarding some questions I had and I'll walk you through what the questions were so there is a rubberized splash guard that goes sorry under here that splash guard was not possible to install once the L bracket and the V bracket supporting uh, the lower portion of the front bumper uh, so that part is not uh, mounted back because it was not possible to get it into place or at least with the OEM uh, holes and etc so the clips were not possible to apply that was one thing the other point was that the V bracket according to the instruction manual was to be secured to the radiator support on the back side of the v-bracket with an oem bolt there is no oem bolt or a screw or anything in the radiator support so that back end is not secured to the radiator support according to the instructions i don't know and also uh, the L bracket which I showed you previously in the video once that is mounted you're supposed to attach the V bracket and on the front side of the V bracket uh, so there are bolts going in underneath here uh, from the belly pan so to speak and securing the V bracket to the bumper however when I tried to uh, tighten those uh, nuts uh, the V bracket got shifted a bit downwards and uh, if I aligned the L bracket so to speak to prohibit that or prevent that then uh, the holes in, on, on the front of the V bracket was not aligned with the holes in the bumper so I was not able to secure that so when I uh, tightened the nuts the V bracket sloped a bit and that made installing the uh, belly pan very difficult because that's them pushing down on the belly pan and the belly pan is supposed to go in under the front splitter so uh, uh, at the end I was able to get the belly pan installed but it was a bit difficult actually it wasn't uh, when I had the OEM because then it goes in and out pretty quickly and it aligns just perfectly with all the holes etc so that is those questions I had for Servini's but I haven't had them uh, answered yet so uh, we'll see uh, if they reply back and once I know I will update uh, maybe I'll do a new video or if I just update the description of the video then anyhow if you have any questions just hit them up in the comment sections below and I try to answer them the best I can 
give me one thumbs up, two thumbs down, subscribe, and until the next time.